Okay, here goes the first topic that I'm going to teach and try to do this on the computer. So the first topic that we're going to cover is um, comparing linear functions to the parent function y equals x. And I'm going to share the screen with you so you can see my computer. I've got this problem here that says um, complete each statement below. Note that you can draw in the scratch area, but it's not part of the answer. So what I like to do, I think would be a good idea maybe, is to um, graph the line y equals x. And it's always the same. So if you graph the line y equals x, it's just when x is 0, y is 0, when x is 1, y is 1, et cetera. And you just put a line there. So one of those dots. There we go. So we have the y equals x. So what we're doing is we're comparing um, each of these other lines with it. So if I have the line y equals one fifth x, so if I graph a different, um, like one fifth times x, you can actually just graph that line and see what it looks like. So I know that if x is zero, one fifth times x, here I'll just point to that, one fifth times x is zero, so x is zero, y is zero. And then the slope is one fifth. So I can go up one and over five. And that's gonna be my line. I'm gonna go from zero, zero to um, five, one. Oh, so I went up one and over five, there we go. Okay, yeah. So this line, we're just comparing it to this one. So it's going to be, if you notice, it's gonna be less steep. So that's probably what they're asking. Yes, it's going to be steeper, equally steep, or less steep. Boom. So we choose that one. But then it asks about uh, where does it intersect the y-axis? So to show the y-intersection, like the y-axis, you just look here where there's a little y. And if you come down, they both intersect at the same place. So your answer is going to be at the same place, so the same point. Now I'm going to do a different line here. It says we're comparing x plus 4. So I want to erase this line and that point. Let's see, that point and one of those. Oops, I erased the line. Dang it. Okay, let me put y equals x back in. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to graph this line y equals x plus 4. So if x is 0, I'm going to do 0 plus 4, which is 4. So when x is 0, I go up to 4. And then when x is 1, I'm going to go to 5 because it's uh, x plus 4. And put that line in. Notice that it's the same steepness. It has the same slope because all we did was move the line up. So, oh, and also, also you can tell the slope because look, from this point to this point on y equals x, you go up 1 and to the right one. Same with on the next line, you go up 1 and and to the right one. So you can kind of tell slopes that way too. So it has the same slope and it crosses the y-axis. Again, you look at the y-axis. This one crosses at zero, zero, that's y equals x, and the y plus four crosses at a higher point. So x plus four crosses at a higher point. And then we can check it. Move my picture out of the way. Okay, so I got it right. Let me do, uh, we'll do another one. So remember, when we come in, um, always just graph y equals x, okay? So we'll just start with, I'll just take, I'll just graph the line because I know that it goes here and it comes there. there go. So that's y equals x, always going to be that way. So now we're going to graph y equals x minus 3. So when x is 0, we take away 3 and we go down to there. When x is 1, take away 1 minus three is negative two, right? One minus three is negative two. And I draw my line. And notice um, the graph is, okay, we're looking at the slope. Again, we go up one over one. It's the same slope, so equally steep. And it intersects at a lower point. So it's, we had to go down, so at a lower point. Um, now, okay, wait, got to erase this line because we don't want it. So, boom. Okay, we're going to draw the second line. 
um, y equals four thirds x. So I draw a point at zero, zero, because when x is zero, four thirds times zero is zero. And then the slope is four thirds, so I go up four, and to the right, three. Boom. Wait, whoa, 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 what just happened? Something just happened. Oh, I went over four, no, I went over three. Oh, I went up three, uh, so I have to go up four and over three. There we go, there we go, there we go. So I went through zero, zero, and oh, there, that point. Okay, because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, let's just put them on because you guys have seen them in the glasses. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, the graph of this is, okay, we're looking at the slope. Notice that y equals x is right here. This one is steeper, so we're just gonna put it steeper and it intersects at the same place. They both go at zero, zero. So we're gonna put the same point and check. Of course, we'll get it right. So one thing you might notice is that if you're adding or subtracting a line, the, the slope stays the same. You might notice that and it's going to intersect at either a lower or higher point, depending on if you're adding or subtracting. You might also notice that um, the slope will change if you don't add or subtract anything onto y equals x, and you're just changing the slope. So um, on 4 thirds, it's steeper. On a fraction less than one, it's gonna be less steep. And then um, those ones will graph, they'll cross at the same point. So um, because we just changed the slope, it still is gonna go through zero, zero. So that's, uh, that's that topic. Um, let me know if, if that helps. If it doesn't, I can um, definitely try to explain it a different way. It's, you know, don't want to stress about that. It's no big deal. So the end. Good luck.